Did Deacon get a job here? <laughs> Someone, we don't know who, has been drawing some of our female employees nude and in various compromised positions with some of our jigsaw animation proprietary characters. Why doesn't Ken Choi just go to this meeting? We don't know that Ken Choi drew these. No, we do know that Ken Choi drew these. He drew one of me. I'm naked being taken by a dragon. Being taken by a dragon. I wonder, is that pleasure? <laughs> no. Guys, I am just the messenger. This is Connie's meeting. What is Connie's meeting? <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. No, oh, no, sorry, sorry. don't look. Do not look at these, Rachel. I am sorry. <laughs> we have to go to a sexual harassment yeah. meeting because of Ken Choi. OK, hey, guys, enough with the finger pointing. Yeah, Rachel. Let's stop with the finger pointing. Okay, Larry. I will see you all at three. Yes. <sighs> what? Tough morning. What happened? I just spent $1,200 to fix a pickup truck whose total value is probably not $1,200. Is that what you called me last night? Thank you both for answering your phones in my time of need. Hugh, you called at 11.56 at night. OK, that's too late. I was sleeping. I was in bed asleep by myself. <laughs> Q, getting down to business for a second. What is the status of your relationship with Sam? <clears throat> oh, that's right, because everything with Sam is your business. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. So you don't want to give us a Sam relationship update? No. A quick one? No. Oh, Sam, she's calling right now. Hugh. She's calling. Maybe it's better script. Well, Answer wait, it. Minute. Get it. Get it. I'm going to get it. I got it. She's on the phone. Hey. Did you see that photo on his phone with her sunglasses? Like, I'm so pretty. Hi, Phil. She's very pretty. No, she's not that pretty. She's I one mean... of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. What? Wow, really? Uh, fan fantastic. Yes, absolutely. We will be there. I uh, love you, too. Oh. What? What? Give me! I hate to break it to you, Larry, but your scheme paid off. Paul Skidmore wants to meet us today, 4 o'clock, at the Langham Hotel Lounge to discuss Mr. First Lady. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Ah, that's crazy! Hey! Let's all buy suits! Good! Really, Larry, we couldn't ballet. My car, my rules. Well, we took your car because ostensibly it's the nice car. But if you don't valet it, there's no point in taking the nice car. No, I wasn't going to pay a billion dollars to valet my car. <laughs> it's $14. So pretty. I mean, look at us. The Langham Hotel, yeah. we all look great. <laughs> well, you look insane. Oh, your tag, you guys. No, no, no. I'm going to return it. Oh, my god. What is going on with this suit? Paul Skidmore is a sartorialist. Do you know what sartorialist means? Yes, no. I do. It means someone who's very into fashion. Dress for the job you want, guys, not for the job you have. You look like a gay doll. <laughs> Let's take a selfie and capture the moment. Which is better? Here, yeah, my arms are locked. God, this tag. Does anybody have tape? Oh, in my purse. I'd be happy to take your picture. is a nice one. Oh, don't be afraid. Well, you did say you were going to spend every day plotting to destroy us. <laughs> well, perhaps I was having a bad day. But today is a great day. Today I just closed on a very big film. I'm very excited about it. Enjoy your stay at the Langham Hotel. Oh, here. Don't want you to look like a fool. And there goes 700 bucks. My god, that is a frightening gentleman. He valeted. Yeah. Should we sit? Should we stand? We are standing. Right, but is that good? Is that bad? Is that wrong? What? Who's in charge of the seating? Like, for this evening, are we supposed to get a table, or is that something that they're going to do for us? Oh, my god. Would you please promise me you will try to be just normal people, just just for today? Yeah, I'm going to sit. Does this look weird? Yes. You look like you're in a wheelchair. Remind me again their names. Hugh, Larry, and Rachel. That's right. I know this. Hugh is the handsome, sexy one. Larry is the red-faced, desperate one. And Rachel is the bitch. Yep, you got it. Oh, they're here. What is she wearing? 
That looks like you could have worn your hooker outfit. Okay, guys, this is Paul Skidmore. Hello. Paul. <laughs> this is Hugh. Hi. I'm Paul. Hi. This is Larry. Hi, I'm Paul. What a surprise. I didn't realize you were a fellow sartorialist. And this is Rachel. Hi, I'm Paul. Paul, so nice to meet you. Rachel, you look lovely. Okay, you know what? I'm not doing this. I have to say something I'm talking to her. Um, Paul, I'm gonna be right back, okay? You guys take care of him. You're gonna be safe. Okay. Okay. She takes great care of me. Yeah. Should we stand, sit? Let's sit. But where? That is the question. Let's just wait for Sam. Oh my God. I think we need to talk. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, obviously you still have feelings for Hugh. So... You know, Sam usually sorts this kind of thing out. Oh. Yeah. I, I, you know, I bet we could just sit down. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to sit in the wrong chair. Let's just wait for Sam. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Can I get you something to drink while you're waiting? Um, would I like something to drink while I'm standing here waiting with two strangers? Um, uh... I'll have a tequila. Do you want Blanco or Reposado? Uh, or... It doesn't matter wherever you get here fastest. Sure. I'll have a Hobner's Gin Fizzy, but instead of the lemon, I'll have elderberry root. Um, and if the sugar isn't pure sugar, cane sugar certified, uh, no sugar whatsoever, please. That's crazy. That's my drink. Huh. Two of those, please. Excellent choice. I'm an actor, by the way, so. Oh. Really nice to meet you. <laughs> Not a lot of people order that drink. No. Just the two of you. Just say it. You have feelings for you. I don't. I, I had a date last night. We had sex. He put my finger in my butt. Your finger? So that's, that is weird. I, I thought that was weird. I, um did have feelings for Hugh, but I have a daughter and we work together and- Rachel, do you want Hugh to be happy? Yes. Well, he is happy with me. Right. Are you okay? Because I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything. No, no, I've been the bitch. No. No, I, I have. I've I know, been... I'm kidding. You've been a huge oh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it um, probably didn't help that you are perfect looking. No, I'm not. I had this you... terrible gawky phase in uh, high school and... You know, models always say that. <laughs> but I was, like, legit gawky. Like, like unibrow mm -hmm. and um, headgear <laughs> and a bionator. What is a bionator? So it's like a retainer, which I also had, but you have to bite down on it like this when you talk, so that's how I go. Well, you ended up very pretty. Fun. You know, when I called you Malibu Barbie, I meant that as a compliment. That was, that was my favorite Barbie. I used to make my Barbies have sex. I did that too. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I've been doing that. All right, here are your drinks. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah, and um, would you also mind if I gave you my headshot? Oh, no, it's great. I'm SAG eligible, so <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is silly. Let's just take a seat. There's no such thing as a wrong chair. Paul, you're sitting in the wrong chair. <sighs> okay, come on, guys. Come on, kids. Paul, I think you should be right there. Ah, oh, of course. Um, Rachel and Larry, the couch, anywhere, but maybe you should be in the middle. Oh. And uh -huh. you, right here. And I'm gonna sit right here, and this leaves this chair for our surprise guest. Surprise guest? Mm -hmm. When I read your script, I immediately knew who should play the president. This woman is brilliant, she's hilarious, she's drop-dead gorgeous, and she can open a movie. Jennifer Aniston? No, not Jenny. Sandra Bullock? No, not Sandy. Paula Poundstone? No, not PP. Oh, <laughs> there she is now. There's my muse. <laughs> Hi. Oh, look at you. Look at, <gasps> you. look at you. Oh, no, this is not good. Should we leave? I can't move. I 
I think my spine is melting. Hi. You guys, <laughs> Melissa McCarthy. Hi. Hi. Look at who's so handsome with his <laughs> gray whiskers. He's like Sean Connery. <laughs> oh. Larry, I heard Jen is pregnant with twins. <laughs> Mazel tov. Thank you. And you, look at you, you look amazing. Oh. oh, you can take an older woman's top and make it so chic. Oh. oh. Mm. So you all know each other? Do we know each other? They were at my wedding. Rachel was in my wedding. We go back to Groundlings. I love my Hugh, Larry, and Rachel. <laughs> you, why didn't you tell me that you knew Melissa? I yep. thought I, didn't I? <gasps> Hugh. <laughs> well, this is all too perfect. Let's sit, 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 sit. Okay. Oh. We have you here. Okay. Yes. Oh, you know what? I don't want to be terrible because I swear I'm, I'm not that gal, but I just don't feel like this is the right chair for me. Then it's not the chair for you. I don't think it is. And uh, I thought maybe maybe Hugh and Rachel switch Larry moves left. I, I just see you here, right. you here kind of bookending it. <laughs> Hugh, you would probably go over to uh -huh. here. Larry, you're gonna want to move left. And then Hugh and Rachel should probably switch, continuing Larry's movement uh, left. Yeah, like I said you, before, yeah, just yeah. keep moving left. Okay. Like that? If that mm -hmm. feels better for you. This is great. Yeah. This is this... great. Oh. Oh. <sighs> you're right. This is better. This is better. perfect. It's almost perfect. You're right. Almost perfect. perfect. I think it's us. I think we just need to do Two. a little dipsy do. Yes, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Dipsy do. do. What do you think? <laughs> a little dance number. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yes. And should... anywhere's fine. Oh, yeah. chairs a chair. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. Great. Are you having a Hobner's fizzy? Guilty. Um, <laughs> would you like one? No, thank you. I'm only in taking hot juice after 3 p.m. <gasps> oh, I love hot juices. Don't you? I do, too. Yeah. Uh, what's hot juice? It's juice that's hot. I'm going to go find you some hot juice. And I'm going to go along and make sure that they hand shave it with a stone pestle. Skidmore, you are spoiling me rotten. Well, you deserve it, don't no. you, McCarthy? You're the best. Well, you're the best. You are, you are, you are, you are. <laughs> Oh my God, Melissa, I cannot tell you how relieved we are. We thought you were mad at us. Shut up. You shut your big tooth, big bushy browed face. God, you've got a dumb face. I don't know how you shit faces got yourself squirreled away with Paul, but you're playing with fire, and I'm gonna enjoy watching you guys burn to the ground. Melissa, I hear what you're saying. Larry, she why is your dirty, stupid mouth hole talking to me? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that little pocket square that you folded incorrectly, and I'm gonna snap it up so it almost becomes like a wire, and I'm gonna wrap it around those little tiny testicles of yours, and I'm gonna pull it tight. Not too tight. Not too tight, but tight enough to make them shiny and start to lose blood supply and get real dark purple. And then right when you're thriving in pain, I'm gonna snap it, and I'm gonna pop those testicles off and shove them down that mouth hole. And I'm going to make you choke on your own balls. So you are still mad. Do you know that my children have no home? We are living out of suitcases on the third, fourth, and fifth floor of this hotel. OK, do you know how that feels to live out of a hotel for 34 days? It sounds nice. It's three floors of hotel. Oh, <laughs> what does that sound like, Santa Claus? Ah, oh, most that's all skin. That's nipple hair. I can, I can oh. feel it tugging. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you realize that the only reason I've agreed to do your piece of shit movie is because that man up there is a little baby angel on earth? I'm confused. I thought you liked our script. You know what I'm gonna do, Larry? Because you can't seem to keep that mouth hole shut. I'm gonna fill it with coal and I'm gonna light it on fire. And I'm gonna let my kids make s'mores off of your charred bones. And when they're cleaning their little sticky fingers, I'm going to say, that pile of ash is a dead Larry. And they're going to throw their little heads back, and they're going to laugh. And then I'm going to let them pee on you. And I'm going to sweep it into a gutter. So stop disagreeing with me. Do you know who I am? I'm Melissa McCarthy. That's who I am. And you are nobodies. Nobodies. Ah! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news. The hotel can't locate the stone pestle, but Sam's on it. Apparently, they have one at the pool bar. Why is it always at the pool bar? <laughs> I'm not too much trouble. Never too much trouble for you, baby. You know what I'm thinking? Call me crazy. 
Do you set that power seat over that there? That chair? It's just oh feeling my... directionally that like... That is perfect. Look at this. I like it. I like it too. How's everyone doing? Good. 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 Very good. Not very good. We're the the same exact good as Melissa, no more or less, and we're in this on the same page and no disagreements. Were you talking about Mr. First Lady? Yes. Yes, we were. Weren't we talking about? Yeah. That, yeah, huh? yeah. 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 I was just telling them how good their script is, wasn't I? And I can't wait to start shooting. Did you tell them what part I wanted Ben to play? I didn't. I wanted you to do it. I think that Ben would be perfect as the butler. <gasps> because he's so good at being weasely, well, right? Well, he's a perfect weasel. He's a perfect We're weasel. We're on the same page. We're always on the <laughs> same page. Hey, I'm so sorry yes. to interrupt. I have Bill Murray, Pharrell, Alexander Payne, and Sidney Poitier on the phone for you. Oh, OK. You know what? I'm so sorry. I never do this. You know I never do this, but it's so hard to of get Sydney Poitier on the Go. phone. I'm collaborating on an album with them. Sometimes they just need me to kind of hum through the, the rhythm section, so forgive me. <laughs> mm. I'll be right back. Sydney, how are you all in Madrid? That is so unfair. I'm getting no Now that we have a minute alone, there's something you need to know about Melissa McCarthy. Uh, there's another side that perhaps you haven't seen. Don't get me wrong, I adore the woman. But occasionally, she can be a bloodthirsty, offensive monster. Of uh, Melissa? I'm so relieved that she likes you. Because one thing you need to know about my relationship with Melissa is that I need to be the good cop. So if we're going to do this picture together, you need to be bad cops. Oh, my God. That was Christian Bale's job on Friendly Skies. I'm not going to lie to you. It was very tough on him. It almost crushed him. There's a lot of tears on that set. We had to bring in a therapist full time. Brilliant man, Dr. Blaine Kane. He's not a doctor. Yes, he's also a part time actor. Correct. See, it should be easy for you. Melissa adores you. She's your friend. And at this point in my life, I need to be on set with people who can say no to Melissa. Is that you? Yeah, we're not afraid of Melissa. Oh my oh, God! No. <laughs> <laughs> Were you talking about me? No, oh no, 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 no! Found juice, juice. <laughs> oh, 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 it's hot, boy! Oh, it's hot. Oh my God! Don't burn yourself. Mm. Okay. Let me see oh, it you. is. Ooh. Hey, good luck on your one-man show. Oh, well, thank you. Would it be presumptuous of me to propose a toast? No, please do. To Mr. First Lady. Be careful what you wish for, because your dreams might just come true. Cheers. Cheers.